Are you kidding me? He'll cry. And and everyone will, oh, I'm going to cry thinking about it. <laughs> He'll cry, and it'll break the through. Yeah. Whew, my daughters. <laughs> we'll see emotion out of him. And they'll fall apart. Oh, it'll be the best. My funeral's going to be so awesome. <laughs> Do you have booze? I want your booze. Yeah, yeah, Can yeah. I, can I, are you drinking? Yeah. Are you really? I don't, I'll, I don't drink a lot anymore, but I'll have How a well drink. do you know Tommy? How well do I know Tommy? Yeah. Like this time? Yeah. Pretty well. I mean, like, no. <laughs> like he's been on the show a lot. Yeah. I, you know, we haven't hung out off So air. you understand that like, so in this dynamic, you're him, I'm him, right? Yes. Right, right, yeah. right, 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 right. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Because you, you know, when you quit drinking, <laughs> no, that's a good you thing. quit drinking <laughs> for a period of time. Last time I was in the studio, and I was like, what a bummer. And then when I quit drinking, I was like, oh, I really respect <laughs> it. Well, there, there was always, I feel like you kind of were like the barometer. I remember, I think, Feidelberg was saying, as long as Bird's still going, I can go. And then Gillis was saying, as long as Feidelberg's going, I can still go. <laughs> so yeah. it's this domino down. We all there. ended up off the track. <laughs> how, long, how long did you stop drinking for? Um, well, I stopped for like I stopped hard for like three months, and then for that's, like, a, that's the number. Very yeah. Anyone yeah. listening right now, fuck a month. Three months is the number. You really because see it there. resets it resets your calibers. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it really does. Yeah. And then for, since even since then though, I've like I, I'll have a couple beers here, a wine here. I mean, I'm not drinking like I used to drink. Yeah, and I and, and by know, the way, his turns used out to it drink. makes you a lot happier and you feel better. <laughs> yeah. 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 Let me tell you, that's crazy. That was a good move. Yeah, that was a smart decision. But well, I mean, Porosos is, yeah. is a, please, an occasion. Please, please. So let's. Uh, hey, 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 uh, hey! I have to say this. So I don't. I'm look. I'm old school barstool legend guy. So you know the phrase for the boys was started by Fatherberg, right? No. Yeah, he's yeah. the OG. You he started. Yeah, the they, then Will and Taylor real? stole it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah those <laughs> and they don't even know they stole it. Saturdays, Saturdays with the boys is you. Yes. It is entirely you. Really? The, yep. it, it, fucking so cool. It's the coolest thing. I started saying it. You know, my daughter started wearing the sweatshirts, mm-hmm. and I started saying it just with my girls, and I loved it. And then we were all hanging. I think in Amsterdam, and you told me that, and I was like, "Shut the fuck up." Mm-hmm. That's so crazy. It's such a great. Broad stroke of the way guys want to hang out, and you know our vodka is called Porosos for the Bears. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, and there's, I love a, that. there's a subtle nod. <laughs> I didn't say this to anyone. When we launched it. They came up with the name. We wanted to do a couple different names, and we worked on the names. Tom's Peruvian. We wanted to. We wanted to incorporate a little Spanish into a little Russian mafia, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't make that. I actually. Yeah, yeah. I, I was. Used, I saw the bear yeah. and the yeah. Russian. Glasses, I didn't, these, yeah, are the, the, these are the different ways Peruvian. you feel as a bear. You could be this guy. You could be this guy. <laughs> which, uh-huh. now, which one are you? I am. I'm, I'm a tongue out guy. Yeah, I'm a tongue out guy. Which one are you? I'm probably teeth out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so and so we were in the meeting and I and they were like porosos and everyone loved it and I did not say a fucking word. I sat back and I went, you know what? There's gonna be a day where I'm gonna reveal that I knew in that meeting. Ultimately, it's for the boys. It's for the bears. For the bears. And I was like, I'm gonna say thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right. Thank you. I like thank that, you. man. Thank you for being thank you. you. <laughs> and and you you've never you've never been cunty about uh, the, the, this phrase has taken over. Shane Gillis is, uses it more than anyone. George Kittle, <laughs> Christian McCaffrey, all these guys are all for the boys. And and. Uh, and I've just always loved that you just sat in the cut and you were like, ah, I did something cool. Yeah, that's the, I, I honestly think that. Cause I, I honestly, because I don't think I really did it. Like, I think it, it, you know, we came up with it, but like, it, it was so good. Did on it come up in that. a meeting? Or how did it no, come no, up? no. Oh, I was out at a bar. This is true, like, viral shit. Yeah, let's, let's see. Okay, let's see. Tommy, I know these guys so much better than you do. I'm about to, I'm about to have them tell. Yeah, you one went of the to best fucking stories. Europe with them. Of course you did. <laughs> I'm about to have them tell one of the best stories you've ever heard in your entire fucking life. Okay. Okay. So I, I was at a bar in Newport, Rhode Island, and getting fucked up Friday night, and, um, this like Newport's a fishing town, like a sailing town. If you don't know that yeah. well, it's like right on the water. And this guy who just looks like he worked the docks his whole life, he was standing at the bar. It was, it was a fairly packed bar, and he kind of like stood up and went, "Gentlemen, Fridays are for the men, but Saturdays are for the boys." <laughs> and me and my buddy's like, 
that's awesome. And we start going crazy. <laughs> and I still don't really know what it means, to be honest. I think, but wait, but wait, how did it how did it get back to like the So crew? I just tweeted that story. I was like, some old dude at the bar just stood up and tweeted Friday said Friday's and the that's the, and did the tweet go viral? The tweet weirdly we were actually just talking with Leanne. The tweet honestly didn't go by that viral. It, it, I it, mean it, it did it, it did it was not like mega viral, but no, it, you know, it's got a lot of interaction. It, it got some but traction. is there is there a you know a Monday meeting where no, people are no we well, not yet. Yeah. at that time was so small that it was all this is this is like 2015 15 yeah. yeah this is when they're all still bloggers yeah, yeah. this yeah. is og this is, this is all he got this fucking <laughs> smart sports <laughs> coach <laughs> this is like i mean look at this guy yeah. i'm doing it the dozen show tonight halftime show he's, he's, but okay. the, um, i like it by the way it looks sharp dude. thank you very you much good. you look really all good all blacks are slimming it looks good dude. except <laughs> when you see him on cox yeah <laughs> black cox are so big shout out to drake, drake keep going yeah. oh wait we gotta get that in a second but the we got um, a cock segment. So yeah, okay. of course. Okay. But so the next Saturday morning, woke up with a bunch of gift. People just tweeting gifts at me, like Braveheart type stuff. Yeah, like, sure. Well, the boys. And then me and my buddy started doing like, again, not super viral moments, but things like for the boys. Like we went cliff jumping and we just jump off screaming for the boys. And we went skydiving and we'd scream for the boys. And these like in Saturdays in a row. Then Kevin got us a helicopter. And we went on the beach in Newport, and we had in seaweed spelled out "Saturdays for the boys." Then we rented a yacht, and we were just throwing girls off the top, screaming "Saturdays for throwing the boys." Them. Yeah, yeah, it was great. <laughs> a bunch of a bunch of beautiful chicks, yeah. and they were like, "Get them out of here! It's for the boys." And then from there, like it was like that first month of kind of like building a little bit, and then from there it was fucking. But it's my favorite but story. Other people in the company have to be like, "No, we're in." Well, so here, this is my no. favorite part. <laughs> this is the best part, Tom. Is uh, our our t shirt guy. Reaches out to John and is like, "This is this is something. Let's make some T-shirts." And Portnoy is like, "This is a stupid idea. This okay, is so, so like, dumb." Yeah. And they made a Saved by the Bell logo, uh, but it says for the boys. Yeah. And the T-shirts just take, take off, off. Yeah. and then it goes real viral. Not not like viral, like you know, we got a bunch of retweets, like. Bill Clinton saying Saturdays for the boys all of a sudden. Adam Sandler. Like, people are just at movie premieres. I would say, going, hey, I would say it all the yeah, time. Right, right. All, if you had a football and a jet ski on a dock, Saturdays What are Saturdays are for? <laughs> the boys. Saturdays are for the boys. And then, and then I got the, two everyone, fucking moron daughters. <laughs> where it would, and then, it, I mean, it, it, it really, it bought the... the it bought our first office in New York, basically. Really? The money made the, off of yeah. that. Yeah. See, I, I always thought it was that was related to like college football, like Saturday. Nope. Nope. Football. No. No. You're looking it at the guy right here. had nothing to do with it. It was about oh. booze. I love, yeah. I love yeah. a good origin story. You know what's yeah. so funny about this is that Tom doesn't really like busting with the guy, boys guys. <laughs> no? <laughs> no. He's not a big fan? I, I, could, I could see that. They're a lot. And you're not, yeah. you're not, you know. He said to me, he goes, bro, can we please do KFC first? I do not want to do them first. <laughs> Like this is, they Keith fucked Hill. us again. They did this to us last time with Tom. Yeah. They talk for five hours and then we get like twenty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's pour these out. Let's let's get let's, four okay, I going. was trying to get so I was trying to get a by the way, my diet's broken today. <laughs> and this KFC looks so fucking good. I had so, two Cuban again, sandwiches and grilled table. cheese ribs. Bird. Oh, you had the Cubans downstairs at the chef cafe uh, the chef truck. Yeah, so we did a we did a episode with Roy Choi for something's burning. Random as fuck. Like as fun as your origin story is, Tom and I have known Roy Choi for like 25 years. It's pretty crazy. And so we knew him before Kogi Taco Trucks. Okay. He changed the landscape of, of food in the world, I would argue. Definitely in America. And uh, me and Tom have known him since before he was famous. He just lived next door to me in, in an apartment. And so we went down there, and he was like, I'd love to take you to John Favreau and my truck, chef truck. We went. I have not had bread in seven Fucking months. Oh, how what? Good is that? And I had two Cuban sandwiches. <laughs> I had two Cuban sandwiches and a grilled cheese. And Tom and I still have a grilled cheese in his, my fucking a grilled cheese. Oh, yeah. what? Oh, Bro. <laughs> all day, every Bro. day. Yo, Everybody, yo, I was gonna be in a wait, rapper. No, no, you should know this. You got a nude. You gotta, you gotta know this. You gotta know this. Everybody was like, "Give that to me." <laughs> And he was like, no, I'll put no, it in my it. pocket. And everyone was like, don't do that. And he goes, no, but I'll eat it later after I've been drinking. And we were like, just don't do that. Just put it in the trash. And he insisted on putting it in his pocket. And <laughs> To uh, further the analogy of these two are the same and we are the same, uh, we're walking through the airport like a couple weeks ago. John reaches into his coat pocket and pulls out eggs. Hard boi- a bag of a bag of hard boiled eggs, bro. If you have a good it's restaurant so buffet, disrespectful. <laughs> it's so disrespectful. Good restaurant buffet. It is. It is. It is. And he did it like this. He tried to like. He was like. 
Uh, He's like, he knew he was doing something dirty. It's <laughs> like, you're disgusting. And you that wasn't cake. the first time I've been caught with food in my pocket. Yeah, you're pocket a pocket hand. food guy. Yeah, pocket, pocket food ham. Pocket. Bad. <laughs> Tommy and I went to a soccer game. Yes. With his, uh, like, Austin friends, you know, like Dennis or whatever they are. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking CEO of <laughs> whatever. Yep, yep, and, yep. And and uh, he was like, "Yo, let's not go full Bert." I go, "What do you mean?" He goes, "No hot dogs in the pockets." And I was like, That's "They're already in my pockets." Yeah. He I had put like, hot dogs in my. They're already like, up. Don't embarrass me in front of my cool friends, man. Dude, Come on. He had three hot dogs in his pocket, and I was like, "Oh Jesus Christ, man!" <laughs> the best is we're in the elevator, and some guy looks at Tommy, and he goes, "Hey, man, I'm fucking big fan." Tommy goes, "Oh, thanks." He goes. You're the machine, right? And Tom starts laughing. He goes, no. It's the guy with the hot dogs in his pockets. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and he's like, he looks over and he goes, oh, shit, that's you. <laughs> like, we got mixed up. <laughs> you ever have, like, moments where you do something like, there, there's a particularly awful Here, television character? Oh, yeah. What's that? Say that again? When there's, like, a particularly, like, despicable TV character. And then you just start finding yourself acting like him a lot, and like that's, who, that's who have a, you been doing this with? Frank Reynolds. Frank Reynolds and always sunny. I, I like. Oh, I yeah. do Frank Reynolds a lot, and he's a big pocket food guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's, he's a, got sausage in his pockets. He's got all kinds of shit. T- I which feel. Which see, which you want to see? Pete's a big. Danny DeVito. Yeah, oh, Danny DeVito. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pete, yeah. Pete, Pete introduced me to Always Sunny. It's so good. Are oh. you like new to it? Brand new. I've never seen it. Oh, it's a great, great it, show. it delivers. Dude, it delivers. Really? Great I've show. never seen it. I mean, the, it, you could make the argument it's the funniest. Sitcom I don't know, dude. Season five of Fargo is the best fucking thing. I've it's very good. It is very good. I'm not, out I'm not Noah fully Holly. through it yet, but Jesus holy Christ. shit. Hands Maiden Tale. Far, Fargo is delivers almost every season. Maiden's Tale? Hands Maiden's Tale? You mean a hands Guys, for the boys. For the boys. Wait, are we going to, are we going to, are we going to buzz Do you want to do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on, hold on. You were saying. Hold on. So we've saved this. Okay. Because Tom, I was like, we should do it with Busting the Boys. He was like, ugh. <laughs> he was like, those guys, I don't want to do it. So we got these things called buzz buttons. Yeah. What are they called, Tommy? Yeah, buzz buttons. Buzz buttons. Yeah. Ooh, this so looks you, dangerous. <laughs> you guys know what uh, opiates are? Yeah. yeah okay. By so the way, Tom tells my wife. Tom tells my wife he did heroin today, and and my wife's like, Tommy, when? He's like, when I was thirty six. She goes, I knew you when you were thirty six. <laughs> How was it? It was fucking amazing. Like, yeah, it was yeah, it's the best. As, as, as advertised, back? it delivers. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason why, you know. <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. There's a reason why people die doing it. It's fucking, <laughs> it's fucking incredible. What do we so, got time here. and you're out? Nah. <laughs> so, so <laughs> these buzz buttons, what they do is they completely. This is my sixth of the day. This is. These completely change your palate. So what's going to happen is we're going to chew these up, okay? okay. And you eat them. You eat them. Yeah. You'll feel is your this mouth. The heroin? No, 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 no. <laughs> I fucking wish. <laughs> I got some shit coming tonight. But this, uh, the, you'll chew this up. Your okay. your mouth's going to change. Like okay. the, the the feeling in it. Your palate changes, and then we're going to drink. It's going to okay. change okay. the way. So it what, what you need to remember is much like a. This hot, is temporary. Much like a hot pepper. And it's it, not this hot. Is a, this it's a not similar, hot. There's a similar instance in that what is beautiful about this is it, it doesn't allow your brain to be in the moment. Your brain, or it, it forces your brain to brain be in the moment. moment. Yeah. In, that, in that you are only here. And that, and then, and then that allows you to really enjoy the drink. Tommy and I want to. Where is this from? This is, from South this is no, this is from China. Okay. China. China. All right. Yeah. China. Okay. You're, not, you're not fucking Guys, with us, right? Watch this us do it. We're going to do it together. I like I've done this. Okay. Chew it. You chew it. I'm chewing it. I'm moving around. Mm-hmm. Do it, it on both sides. Yeah, mm-hmm. both sides. It, it's gonna. Well, I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. thing will come, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's, it's it gets way worse. Uh-huh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. It gets way worse. <laughs> yeah. So your mouth changing, right? Oh, I yeah. like it. it. You're not gonna like it in a second. No. Oh. It's, gonna get, it's gonna start buzzing, right? Now but pick the your drink, drinks up. The drink I think this really... is gonna be good with a cocktail. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. Cheers. 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 Dude. Drink makes it go away a little bit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right? Oh, that's amazing. Right, like, it gives it like a. Who gets real tart there? There it comes. Oh, there it goes. Oh. Yeah. Yes, nice. Nice. Whoa. Who's back on? Who's yeah. back to drinking heavy? Yeah. Who's back to Get drinking? Get the bottle. <laughs> is that oh, even oh, started yet? This is even started. Amazing. And it keeps going? going? Like crazy. Uh, All right. Why don't we guys want to do some mushrooms with it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I don't know if mushrooms and buzz buttons are the thing yeah, we're supposed to do. As soon as you guys started pulling pocket stuff out, I was like, I got fucking chocolates in here. Oh, oh shit. Fuck. 
I can't. I got to have dinner with a f- <laughs> offensive lineman tonight. You want to take one? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Pop, pop it in that pocket. I'm going to put it in my Zen. Have him take mine. Yeah, can I get... Is that cool if I grab one yeah, for Tommy? Yeah, Hell yeah. <laughs> that was a fucking productive five minutes, folks. Yeah, there you go. That's no, how you, you do feel, it. You feel on the top of your mouth and Bro, you give I it a feel second? Like all over. So there's it's a fun lot though, of right? foods. Yeah. It changes the flavor, the dynamic of the flavor yeah. for and we want to sell these buzz buttons with yeah, our vodka because it's a, a fun. Night, dude. You, you're fun. forced to be. Where'd in the you moment. get the idea from? What the buzz buttons? Yeah, here. Uh, we were at the uh, what was it? Cosmo. Cosmo. Yeah, we're at the Cosmo. And the like bar- right now, this trip. Yeah, yeah. The, oh, the bartender there made us a drink, made us a few drinks, and then he was like, "I got one special off menu drink." And first he he was like, "Eat this buzz button first. And it was a whole. It was so fun. I was like, "Can we have something?" He gave me like fucking forty. I was gonna say you got a big bag of that. Yeah, yeah, (laughs) yeah. That that would be a game changer if you can package it or. But the vodka, honestly, I I can't wait for you to try it on its own. Yeah, and even room temp because then you really then you get the real flavor of Mm -hmm. what it is. Mm -hmm. I'm actually I was when I was drinking a lot. I was more of a whiskey guy. Yeah, but vodka is what I would drink. Like here's the thing: vodka has to be high quality. To enjoy it room temperature. Oh, yeah. You cannot totally. drink a shit vodka oh. room temperature. Right. Impossible. Right. It's a fucking freeze it. Yeah. But this shit, I'm telling you, I know it's. I'm, we're going to have to have you try some before we split room temperature. Okay. I'll tell you, Is I'll that tell room you, temperature right now? So, yeah. So I'll, I'll say this. When we started the. And I know this sounds like pitchy. When we started the vodka, Miss, I think Tom wanted to do whiskey. We said this casually candidly but we said you know we got a lot of bu- a bunch of our boys are doing whiskeys mm-hmm. mark norman right. uh, sam Morell, Cat, yeah. Brandon Schaub, i think rogan may one day come out with a whiskey he works with buffalo trace whiskey's weird man whiskey's like high school pussy like once you had it that's your thing yeah like right like it's like i'm not i'm not going away from jameson is your thing high school pussy buddy <laughs> <laughs> okay there's some high school right. pussy that i had in seniors high school. we're talking about seniors yeah. <laughs> when i was in high school when you were in high school but it's also like high school pussy no. yeah, yeah. late but like late graduates you know <laughs> held but, behind a year and they're moved from a different they're country athletes. english is second language they're 22 buddy Republic high school pussy was fucking awesome good kid <laughs> it was awesome. I, I missed didn't get it. Any high school pussy. Did you really not? Nope. N- well, nothing? I did. I forgot about it. Um, what do you mean? What is that? I was drunk in Spain. And I had sex when I was sixteen. And I forgot about it. You were sixteen? Yeah. But then I didn't like on a on a short trip or a long trip. I was there for a summer with uh, like studying abroad. Did you get laid by a Spaniard or someone from no the- a local girl from URI from um, where University of Rhode Island. Were, I was like taking college classes. Gross. Yeah, All right, by like, the way, by the way, I already have a. Everyone close their eyes and picture this girl. <laughs> I'm like redhead. She played field hockey. <laughs> Big picture her more mousy than you're picturing. <laughs> um, that was your first time. First time, but then I I, for, I so forgot about it that I didn't have sex again for three years. I didn't like I. I so then, that next time was in college. Next time was in college, and, I, and for a long, long, long time, like for 20 years, 15 years, I was like. I was like, oh, I didn't lose my virginity until I was 19. And then it- he remembered it on the podcast. <laughs> he was like, wait a minute. No, I had sex when I was 16. I was like, what? Yeah. How do you forget? Wait, but when, also when did you she lose your virginity? I, 15, 16. 15, 16. I had, a, wow. uh, I had an older girlfriend. I was a sophomore. She was a senior. Ooh. Yeah, I was. That's fucking baller, dude. Yeah, it was pretty cool. <laughs> it's always the reverse. <laughs> yeah. yeah you were a story. sophomore? Yeah. And she was a senior? senior. Yeah. What? How long did you date? Uh, like a couple years. You had to have some game for that, dude. I guess so. We met. I, I uh, we met doing a play. <laughs> yeah, I was playing. Uh, I was I didn't on. The, know you I, fucked a dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, she, no. That's right. Like, it, it was a funny gay. story. Like, it kind of worked to my advantage. I was playing basketball, and my basketball coach was oddly like a very big theater guy too. That is odd. And he, <laughs> he like recommend. It is right. <laughs> yeah, very odd. And like yeah. uh, we, we got to get do- you into this triangle offense. <laughs> and Shakespeare is basically amazing. he was yeah. like he was like you can leave practice like a little early for this. And I was, I, I, but <laughs> fucking one in a million. She, she was. She Spike was. Spike uh, Lee was your coach. <laughs> <laughs> she was like the lead in the, it. And I was the some, theater like, guy at my high school was like, why don't you take a football <laughs> season off to do theater? And I was like, are you out of your mind? <laughs> like do you know. <laughs> How violent that will be in my life. <laughs> Sorry. So wait. So she's so in- she's like the lead, and we're you know doing like uh, play practice and whatever that's called, rehearsals and shit. I don't know. I only did one. That was the only time I ever did anything in theater. So uh, 
<laughs> yeah, we met and like started. That's crazy. And, yeah. I honestly, I don't think I've ever heard of a a male sophomore dating the senior girl. That's crazy. It was cool. How she, were you she, she was she was good. Six, seven, <laughs> seven, 16, 17. Yeah. Wait, why is everyone doing two numbers? I know my number was 17. 17. Okay, 17. I'm, I'm, I just know 17. I was sophomore year, and I think 17. that's when you're 15 17. and 16, so I don't know. 17. 17. Yeah. It was in my bedroom. It was a mess. <laughs> it was a mess. Was a mess. So, so much blood. blood. So much blood. <laughs> Did you kill her? I know. I was just like... She, is she dead? I didn't even... I was like, I guess this is what this is like. Like, This, <laughs> this is what my parents always do. Just blood everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> like, why did, 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 did you like you know throw it in there? No, no, no. I laid on my back and I was like, "The fuck is going on?" Oh, so you had blood all over yeah, you? Yeah, oh yeah, my yeah. god, Tom, that's a pretty harrowing experience yeah. for a fifteen-year-old. Yeah. I, like, I was like, "No, this you is don't cool." Hold on. I'm fifteen. You don't know anything. You're just covered, covered in blood. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> so, so much blood. <laughs> was this like a one-time thing or a girlfriend? Like, it, was, it, it was my girlfriend. Yeah, she so, was, yeah. and then and then did he like keep like or it was just the no no and and then, yeah, it was like the, Tommy, okay. is this a girl I know? You've never met this person. But I know the girl. I guess. Is I this know. the big one? Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, big as in what six five? <laughs> no, 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 no. You, you basketball? Yeah. Tommy's had practice. some fucking high-profile chicks. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah that her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah, so yeah. back then, young, she yeah. and then became high profile. Yeah, 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 yeah. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll bleep it. We'll bleep it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 don't bleep it. Oh, we'll bleep it if you. Yeah, we'll bleep it on the show. But you say. Oh no, 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 no. I'll tell you later. Okay. So by the way, by the way, this whole. What you don't trust us? This whole. This whole story is so good. All of it. I hate that I know secrets. Because I the secrets are so much better than the, than what we do here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a good one. This is a good one. <laughs> Can you tell anything about her? No. Um, industry? No, 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 no. No, I mean like what industry? Like what are we I talking can't, about? I now? can't. You can't. It, it is so specific. It's very so specific. specific. So and, and, and by the way, by the way, still a fucking dime. Mm. Still a fucking I follow her on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry. Go to the list. No, Go to that, the first that, list. That's how Brady's Instagram got found yeah. out. Yeah. Elman was like, he follows me. I got I got very lucky though. I was very lucky. Yeah, apparently. No, no, I just mean like I was always lucky that I always dated like like I never had like a shitty like girl, ugly thing. girl, yeah. or a no, I just mean like sh- like you know, I, I always did like got it. I always did like high character, like really like Good for you, know, you. Like what really, they, what good. were they thinking? I don't know what the fuck was wrong. No, with he them. used to be very attractive. But you're, you're also <laughs> no, no, for you're real. No, be. you're now you're attractive. But like in the day, he was like a uh, goon three and Griselda. Like the you know like the fucking mm-hmm. okay. jaw. Okay, he was a, a striking. You got the humor going for you too. Obviously, no, not then, not then. Oh no, you weren't funny then. Not okay, then. Not then. all right. He had to okay, get, never had to get funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, had to get yeah he didn't have to be funny. Yeah, I had that mo- guy said to be funny. I, you know, I had a moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I had a moment. But I was no. I'm saying like I, I really was lucky in that. And you know, I mean like you, 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 your friends as you grow older, people tell you these stories about like just nightmare girlfriends. Nightmares, and I'm or, like, yeah, yeah, oh, I yeah. Never, brother, how much time you got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I never had. I mean, the only time it was ever very brief. Was because like if I went out with somebody and I was like, Ugh. like I'm saying personality wise, right, right, right. I would not go on a second or third so. You've day. never been caught up in like a toxic I've never situation, had a toxic, like, toxic, toxic. Like we ever. should definitely not do this never. anymore, but we keep fucking. And we never, keep... never. Good for you, buddy, no. he's like. Let me tell you, life. it takes he's years like off your life. life, though. Like in life, yeah. He's he's really astute in like drama and like I don't want to get too into the weeds on stuff, but like. Uh, in times where things are things I would have said fucking hard yes to, Tom would pull me aside say, no. quietly and go, we yeah, need to don't leave. do that. Really? Like, yeah, oh, you yeah. Need, you need that guy. Where the fuck was that guy when you were doing heroin? <laughs> 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 Let me tell you something. <laughs> Heroin gets a pass. Heroin is absolutely astonishingly good. I feel like once you're once you're, you know, eighty or, you know, in my case like seventy, uh, just blow me up with heroin. We, we you know are I mean? exaggerating. I did dilated, and it was oh, in, you know, come yeah. on, dilated. Did dilated. Everybody was broke a bone here and there. You know, the, yeah. Me too. Oh, okay. So <laughs> the thing is, I got it after. But they when that when, <laughs> when you're when you're in the hospital and they give you dilated at first. I was because they give me pain pills and they're like, I'm like, how is they're like, how you feeling? I'm like, I'm fucking my pain's at a ten. Yeah, and they're like, we're gonna give you dilated, and they go, by the way, we don't have anything else. This is it. 
this is the max. Right. So There's no, nothing above this. Right. And you're like, okay. And then the, I remember the lady going, a lot of people say they feel a warm rush in their chest after this is injected. Sure. And I go, okay. oh, you got it right in the yeah. I go, okay. And then she just injects it, and it goes like three, two, one. <laughs> and then it was like, in the chest. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they right. They are right. I go, <laughs> Nice, <laughs> but he I, always, I, I was remember. There. I was there. Yeah, was that was there when you when you when he yeah, got yeah, yeah, yeah. and he yeah. said, "How soon can I get this again?" Yeah. <laughs> and and, and, I, and and they were like, "Oh, we just gave it to you." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we had to reset his arm. Yeah. Oh, reset his arm. Shit. And the guy had to pull his shoulder out. Who? That was like out of like, if you and I love the energy of the for the boys. For the boys is bigger than than what you guys what you guys started. It's gotten bigger. When I'll, you know, I don't want to cry on a podcast, but I can get emotional, and you know I can. Oh, yeah. We've seen it before. When, when Tommy hurt his arm and broke his leg dunking a basketball, <laughs> we, I, I remember getting on the one on the, on the 405, and I told Leanne, I said, Tommy's hurt. She said, we need to go down to put their house in a very palatial six-story mansion in the Palisades. And, and we, six stories. <laughs> well, it was like four stories, right? <laughs> that fucking house was sick. <laughs> six million dollars he paid for it. Anyway, straight cash. Six point cash. Dude, six point five. Not have a <laughs> and we went and and I picked Leanne up and she turned the car around. And we went down. I love Tom's wife. I love Tom's wife. In a moment of panic, she may not be the, your best partner. Mm -hmm. She was making biscuits. Do you remember this? She was making. No. She was making biscuits <laughs> with <laughs> and had a glass of wine. She goes. Tom's heard I'm making biscuits, and I was like, uh, "We're gonna need more than that." <laughs> so we went and we got a we got a weight belt to get him out of the car into the thing. Oh my god! And dude. and and uh, the whole the next day, uh, push uh, rightfully so was taking care of Tommy and their kids, and they're young kids. They're, yeah, yeah, at the time yeah, they were yeah, like yeah. babies. Right. And I went and I got a uh, car service to get us to <laughs> car service is the wrong word. Okay. <laughs> Two things that I. First of all, so I was, I did something insane. Like, oh, I remember this. You like checked yourself out of the hospital, right? Checked myself out of the hospital, which was and a like, smart went, move. To a but I, hotel or something. But no, to home. I went home. I should have gone insane. to the good, I, I checked myself out of a bad hospital. Yeah, which you knew it was bad. Doctors later told yeah. me, they're like, that was smart. Right, right. Should have gone to a good, I said I just went home. <laughs> crazy. And then that was crazy. But what I remember is like, you know, they get me, they lay me on this couch, right? I'm like, oh. And, <laughs> Bert, first of all, goes to the store, <laughs> and I'm laying on a couch. I can't move. I'm yeah. all fucked up. Nothing's been set operated anything. on. Yes, right? so you're I'm just, just like I'm mangled. All fucked up. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, hey, "Here's Doritos and Cheetos." <laughs> like, he's like, "In case you get hungry," and I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> and they give me all. These, and then <laughs> his wife. She looks down at me. She goes, "It's bad." <laughs> she goes, "You're gonna gain a lot of weight. <laughs> You're gonna get fat as fuck." Yeah. And I was He's like, gonna get fat. I wouldn't give them Nutella on that yeah. I was like, What? She goes, "Yeah, it's real. It don't, this don't look good at all." And I was like, "Okay." And then we were like, "Okay, we need hospital like transport because you see like if you go to like a medical facility or hospital, not an ambulance, but like a, a you know." A van that yeah. transports people. Right, right, right. So I'm like, well, just get, just get one of those. I mean, I'm not thinking, right? It's like, just get, because I'm in a wheel. I have to be go in a wheelchair. Right, right. <laughs> they, some guy, shows up to the house. He's got long, long. I mean, middle of his back, <laughs> black hair, ponytail ponytail and he's just like hey what's up guys and, and you like, called this they called it oh, yeah. God. Called. smoking cigarettes like, in the van yeah oh, yeah oh, smoking my. cigarettes in the van Get the smoking cigarettes out. in the van i remember i'm always by the way. Thank you. i'm it's really good. always i mean i would say like 95 percent of the time i'm always like you you can leave me be like i don't need someone with me yeah, yeah. you know what i mean like, yeah, yeah 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 right, right i'll right. do this alone right like, don't leave my side i see this guy I see this guy. I get in it. They lock they, the chair goes into the back of the van, and they lock it in. And I go, "Don't leave." <laughs> like I grab him. I go, "Don't, Don't fucking leave. leave me, dude." Like you have to ride with me. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm seriously like, I'm scared. 
I'm fucking scared. Like I was like, were you scared? Like like you thought dying, or you thought like permanently disfigured? I just was like, I don't trust the vibes this guy. off yeah. the situation. I'm fucking super vulnerable. It's the heat of like, COVID. It's uh, the high point of COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 2021. I don't even know. It's, and you I guys, know you know, you it's got 20. It's 20. It's, 20. it's December 2020. 20, right, right. Yeah. And yeah. we're in the car. We're in this van, and they literally take the wheelchair. And they lock latches into this guy. And it's a shit van. It's a fucking, like, yeah. are you escaping the country van? Right, like it's right. A, I'm going to say a little bit of fame in, with you guys, too, at that point. So it's like. Yeah. And I'm like, just don't leave, dude. Don't leave. And he's like, all right, I'll, I'll ride with you. And the guy's like, so what do you guys do? Uh, <laughs> and I'm just like, huh? And Bert's like, we, we do comedy. <laughs> he's like, I like comedy. And I'm like, I want to fucking kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tommy, Somebody finish the Tommy, job, please. <laughs> Tommy's hell of a joke. Yeah. No, <laughs> and, and, and Bert's my like, my phone's out, and I'm putting it on Instagram. <laughs> and Bert's I like, Bert's like, he's a famous comedian. I'm like, he's like, <laughs> he goes, he's a famous comedian from Netflix, and he's like, oh, I've heard. He didn't. Even have, he goes, I heard Netflix. I was oh like, my god. I was like, oh Jesus Christ. Dude, uh, we, the, the best, the best, oh, hang on, but the best part of this story is. <laughs> <laughs> Tom's legs out, his arms out, and we get him into the elevator, and we couldn't get the elevator door to close, <laughs> and we couldn't get people in. It was the <laughs> fucking. I said another uh, secret time thing, but like, and it's, uh, whatever, fucking hate me for it. We get into the hospital. It's a heat of COVID, right? Everyone's dying of COVID. <laughs> it's it's no, dude. Listen, this is December second, like that was twenty twenty. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. the Delta variant. It's like yeah, absolute worldwide pandemonium, panic, and they're just like, wait over there. They said we go. We go over there. Roll Tommy right. in. I said my buddies, uh, we might have an appointment. I'm not certain. He's had a massive injury. And they're like, it's about to be a two-hour wait. And I went, hold on. Uh, I did this. I'm cool with it. Now, I lowered my mask, and I made eye contact with all the orderlies in the back. <laughs> Someone goes, the machine. I'm yeah. Like, yep. I said, Tommy, lower your mask. He's like, what? I go, lower your fucking yeah, he mask. he did. He did. And he goes, we got a room for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. We did not wait one second. That's the time to flex. They put us in a room. Yeah. He goes, Boo, dude, I love your podcast. What happened? Tom's like... <laughs> We were playing basketball, Dunk and he said, "He said, what the fuck are you doing playing basketball as old as you are?'" Yeah, <laughs> it was I crazy. Also, I also was like, "I won the dunk contest." <laughs> I always tell people that. He, right before Thank he you. dunked on like nine Thank foot, you. nine Thank five. You. It was nine, crazy. Yeah, yeah, almost ten feet. Yeah, <laughs> not quite, almost. Not quite. Not quite. <laughs> that moment. That moment reeks in my head of so, so real. Like those moments are crazy. So I remember Tom's exact words. The first words out of your mouth were, "I'm hurt." Call Christina. Yeah. He yeah. said, I'm hurt. Call Christina. Yeah, because it was a weird, it wasn't like you got hit by a car where everyone knew it. It was like, no, you know, you I, tried to, I tried to Nobody be was like, going to think you were going to be like crazy. massively injured. That in the ambulance, I was like, tell Christina. And then I, I texted my agent because I was supposed to be in Phoenix the next day. I was like, I'm on my way to the hospital. You have to let Phoenix cancel in. the show. And he told me later, he was just like, they were like, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> he's not coming? Well, the best, the best part is all the agents then called me and they go, so we were, I think we were supposed to do something with Laird Hamilton and Gabby Reese. That's right. And they were like, it, it's a car accident, isn't it? And I was like, no. And like, Tom's driving reckless. But it reckless. is, like car accident Tom's level. Tom's reckless. Yeah. You guys are drunk. And I was like, no, we were, still, we're playing basketball. And no one believed it. No one believed it. It was more reckless, playing basketball in your age. The, trying to dunk. <laughs> the thing that I've never told anybody, I've never even told you, is that the Laird-Gabby thing was on the table. And I was like... Yeah, but I know I'll beat him in basketball. <laughs> <laughs> She's so much bigger than us. No, no, I'm saying like, I was like, because we were going to compete. Yeah. So I go, yeah, but I know I'll beat him in basketball, so let's do basketball. <laughs> 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 so let's do basketball. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Dude, I'm thinking about you in the car and you being like, he's like one of the funniest guys alive. And all I could think of is that like, the person who had to introduce Stephen Hawking to someone who didn't know Stephen Hawking. And you're like, he's a genius. You're like, this fucking guy? Yeah. And Tom's like laid up all yeah. twisted. Like, I've got five he's specials like, on Netflix. He's hilarious. Yeah, that driver was like, I like jokes. Like, I like jokes. Cool. You guys know cool. Fluffy? <laughs> yeah, we know him. Nah, I, but like rock bottom moment for you with the injury, rock bottom moment for you with the picture. It changed my dude. life. It changed, it changed his life. 
he started losing weight for yeah. real. Like, for real. It was like, I think Leanne's moment of, like, you're going to be fat as fuck. Was he like was the yeah, total opposite, where, dude. You, where he was like, came uh, right out he of changed his diet entirely yeah. and started working out. And he, your, his rehab was, look, everyone's sucking cocks, but, like, fairly impressive. Like, he was <laughs> he was deadlifting <laughs> out of surgery, like, doing deadlifts. And, and Tom's dad was an Olympic. Uh, or uh, He's an Olympic weightlifter, yeah. Olympic oh, weightlifter. wow. Yeah, Holy yeah, shit. Yeah. But uh, Three he's times passed. state champion. Passed. Let's not talk about wow. him. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, his dad passed, so we don't know. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, You're he still alive? he still did that. Your dad yeah, alive? it did happen. Huh? Your dad alive? Yes, my parents Your dad alive. Very. Yeah. We're lucky. The yeah. um the <laughs> the <laughs> my dad will die one day. First, first person. <laughs> no, all, my dad's oh. dad is dying right now, and it's a whole trip yeah. for him. So he's like, he's been having all these like conversations with me. We're just like really, just like he, dude. He That's sent, wild that your so your grandfather. Yeah, my dad, my dad's pretty young. He's sixty one. Okay. This is great though, because every time his grandfather calls him, he thinks it's like the last call. Sure. <laughs> you know, he's like, "This, is, this is happening for a reason." Uh, eighty, not just turned eighty nine last week. Wow. And said, "I always, I, always, I didn't want to live till ninety. Looks like I won't." <laughs> what was yeah. the line he had? Uh, he has he, a great one about like dinner time or something. He, like that. he called me, and uh, I called him for what I thought was the last time, and we were having like our like goodbye talk, and, yeah. and he's a very religious man, and so he was like, um, "What did he say?" He said. Uh, I said, I said, Papa Joe, how are you doing? And he went, well, John Henry, I'm on a one-way street, but I'm going the right way. <laughs> and I was like, wow, Hell that's yeah. really yeah. deep and cool. And then I realized, like, anything someone dying says is yeah. cool. Yeah. Like, I said he could have said, like, uh, I got two flapjacks on the stove, but they're not for me. <laughs> and I would have <laughs> been like, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> he could never order flapjacks again. <laughs> like, oh, fuck. You see him on a menu, you start crying. You're like, fuck. Dude, flapjacks. <laughs> I was saying, I actually haven't, I don't think I've told Kevin this, where we, I went to see him for the last time. And uh, it was the most outrageous conversation ever. Because it was just like, like we were both like, all right, this is our last time ever talking. Yeah. That's crazy, by and, the way. I've never had that. You know. And, and he was like, he's like, so who do you think the Pats are going to get? <laughs> and I was like, dude, what do you care, man? And then, and I was there for like 20 minutes, had a sandwich. And then he just sits, he's sitting there, he just slaps his leg. He goes, well, thanks for coming by. And no I like, way, I like, dude. I was like, all right, jeans are strong because he just wants yeah. to be alone too. Work. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Those, yeah, those real. moments, I think it t what Tom's dad said to him That's after he passed a lot. Tom's dad said, I'm going I'm to paraphrase for you, Tommy, but like something to this effect of life goes on. Like that it does. It just goes on. I think about that so much because it does. It does. Don't stop. It goes on. Is that what he said? Yeah, he goes, you know what happens when someone dies? And I said, what? And he goes, the world goes on. Mm. That's what he said. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's true. It's I pretty mean, prolific. Mm. I think Conan said something like that recently in an interview where he's like, everyone's grave goes eventually goes unvisited. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it kind of makes you think about yeah. graveyards. Though, <laughs> yeah. right? Graveyards are fucking crazy. Well, you go like, okay, like let's say my dad my dad died. So I have a, I have a, 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 a place to visit if sure. I want. Yeah. My kids know him, so they could go like, yeah. Their kids will be like, I don't know. Uh, just a yeah, fucking yeah, stone yeah, right. in the ground, like, right? Yeah, that's it. And yeah. then it's like, and then the next generation, they're just like, it's just even... a sign. <laughs> totally. Just like, yeah. And then it's you just, crazy. we just take it like hundreds of thousands of acres Yo. of, yeah. of uh, you know what I mean? Of real estate of like, this is just dead bodies. Yeah. It's it's, it's one of the craziest things we do. It's insane. Yeah, I mean, well, it's, it's got to be a wacky religious thing, right? There, like, there's you need your also, body to go to the afterlife or something. We the, should all be thrown in a fucking fire. But there's yeah. a, there's Burn a it point up. also where you just go like, just over time, like, there's a point, like we're, it's not going to happen in our lifetime or the next lifetime, but it's like in a thousand years, <laughs> space. they would just be like, oh yeah, we don't do this anymore. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. This is insane. No, not yeah. me. We, we, not especially me. the people who buy. Well, he wants well you're going to, yeah, you're, you're going to have a $25,000 casket. You're going to have a QR code on my, <laughs> on my casket, yeah. on my gravestone. He's got to, he's got to jump out. He's got to do this slash show, but we're going to kick it for a little while. That's why I'm all dressed up. I told you I got this intermission. This is why Will and Taylor keep fucking us. Yeah. Where are you going to do what? We uh, like uh, we have like a trivia show, and I'm he's like, the halftime a trivia host. show. Yeah, it it's, it sounds like a bad excuse, but yeah. it's a Where thing is to it? do. It's at a live thing. It's at the Luxor. What you, what's the trivia show? It's like a big barstool thing. We have like a league of like, trivia. Yeah, 
It is. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry. I love you, buddy. I'll, 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 I'll keep you, buddy. We'll keep going. Delicious and I it's, it's fucking vodka. vodka. It's a vodka. Vodka, you dummy. It's got the mushrooms in them already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, we're editing that. The vodka is delicious. <laughs> I'm aware of what I was drinking. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it's the craziest. You're, you're going to have a QR code. Uh, 50,000 people at your funeral. And it's gonna, I hope so. I'm going to have a funeral, number one. It's so fascinating to me that not long after <laughs> I met you, <laughs> not long after I met you, not that long, he was just like, when I die, I just want it to be like a real event. Yeah. And I was like, what? Like I'd, I'd never that doesn't heard, surprise me. I, I know, but I've never heard somebody like <laughs> articulate yeah, like think that. about it that way. Yeah, yeah. Like, what do you mean? He's yeah. just like, I want people to like really. Mm-hmm. I want it, I want to be remembered. I want it to be a big thing. And I was like, I've never heard somebody say that before. You know what we should do? Yeah, we please. should uh, like the like the Puerto Rican gangsters who get like taxidermied and propped up. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Imagine that. I'd be into that. That would be yeah. so good. I know who I want. Shirt off. Do you know who you, you know, want drink speaking? in hand. Do you know who you want speaking at your funeral? No, I don't think I do. about I do. this I do. shit. I do. I do. All the time. Tom? I think I... A hundred percent. Yeah. Are you kidding me? He'll cry and, and everyone will... Oh, I'm going to cry thinking about it. <laughs> He'll cry and it'll break the fucking room. Yeah. Whew. My daughter's... <laughs> <laughs> we'll see emotion out of him and they'll fall apart oh it'll be the best my funeral's gonna be so fucking awesome I can't wait <laughs> bro <laughs> I lie man I, but that's the thing about life is like you want you want to live a life that people celebrate that they love that they go god damn it I miss this motherfucker yeah why, why live a life if you don't live a life that people don't go fuck that's a good one. We lost a good one. Yeah. I just want, I want, I, want, I wish I could see it. I would love to fake a death. Uh, that's just what I was going to say. It. Why don't we yeah. fake your death? And then I you get to witness to. it. But I would love, I want, I want. You I want to talk want, about a great I want, I want everyone promotion. there. And, and if you're listening, if you're listening, I'll look at a camera. Show up. Show up. All my, I want all my friends there. I want everyone there. Can I speak at the funeral? Please. Okay. But I, by the way, by the way, I want everyone that wants to speak to speak. He's got good genetics, though, dude. It's not gonna. I was gonna say he'll time. be a hundred and thirty. He'll outlive all of us. He will. I'm gonna be crazy old and I'll be dead. You guys will all be dead and I'll be like, yeah, you'll be Fuck. the guy who outlived all everybody. He's gonna be asking guy, for death. He's gonna be the guy like at a at a funeral. Yeah. <laughs> Your funeral like, is gonna be awesome. Yeah. Who's like? Who's like? You know, seventy eight. People <laughs> yeah. are gonna be like, get the fuck out. Of here. Right. He's you. Uh, when yeah. I'm at Tom's funeral, they're gonna go. It <laughs> should have so been you. Up. Yeah. <laughs> right. They're, they're people going. Oh, why why did the Lord take him Leanne's first? Leanne's funeral. You think gonna, she'll go her first? Yeah. yeah. Jesus. Yeah, it's that's... gonna happen quick for her. Quick. Yeah. How it'll quick? Be, it'll be something like that out of nowhere. <laughs> she'll be cool with it. She'll understand it. She'll get it. She'll be like. And I'll be a mess, and they're gonna. And she'll say stuff to the girls like, "Hey, figure out your dad oh, before dude, he comes I in can't. and talks to I'm me." Start I, th- I love, but I, I, I don't mind talking about this. You ever shit. see the movie Signs with Mel Gibson? Yeah. Are you, she, look, she, I'm she, just she, dumb she, enough to fucking love that shit. When, when, when the the the, the woman gets hit by the car though, and she's pinned yeah, together, she's pinned, yeah. and they're like, "When we move this car, yeah, you're gonna die." And he's like, "You understand what I'm telling you? Like, this is the last time you're ever gonna." Yeah. And I, that scene always fucks me up. Yeah. It's like if you know that's it. Woo. It makes you yeah. think about Saddam Hussein. Yeah, that's what I think executed. too. When he got executed, you know that like a lot of the people in the room, he killed their family members. Right. And they were yelling out their family members' names. He's a, say what you want about Saddam Hussein, but he walked out like a gangster. <laughs> he did, and he was like, "Fucking do it." <laughs> like he did. He, just, he did die like uh, you know, like a man. Yeah, like a man. Talk, like I wouldn't talk die like shit. that. Yeah, talking shit. Talking shit. Yeah, like if you were if you were in a situation, would you be talking shit or like begging for your life? Begging. Or would you? Uh, or would I'm you... gonna answer first. I would be Saddam Hussein going. I guess you'll never find out where the gold is. <laughs> like I'm, I would be a coward. I'll pay you, I'd I'll be pay a you, coward. I've yeah, yeah, thought about yeah. a lot. I watched Napoleon the movie when they cut off Marie Antoinette's head. Uh, she just went up and just took it right. And yeah. I, I would not be that guy. I would be a. I would be a coward in my death. Mm-hmm. I will be a coward in my death. I will. 
in those moments. I'm hoping, I guess you hope that it lasts long and you're, you know, you're, you're, your dad died of cancer. Yeah. So we got to say a lot of things. Yeah. I want to say a lot of things. I want to say a lot of things. Um, I don't want to just die in a car accident. I yeah, you want to have a chance to like. I don't want know, it to be of my own thing. It's the reason I quit drinking for so long and I've, I've tried to measure my life a little bit is that I don't want to get the call from the doctor that goes, it's obviously it's the fucking liver, mm -hmm. you know? I don't want to be that guy. And so that's why I changed my lifestyle. But I, 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 I'll, I'll be cool with like some bullshit death that takes long and I can, I want to talk to everyone. I want to tell everyone how I feel. Go on Oprah. <laughs> I can still do push-ups. Death tour? Yeah, death, death tour. tour. Okay, yeah, like, you know, like, like, like Derek Jeter's uh, farewell tour. Like, so wild you go to tickets. every stadium, and you, you know, like they get a gift from every arena you ever performed do you at. Realize the promos I do. I was uh, gonna say, what's yo, up, yo, it's your boy Burke Kreischer. <laughs> I'm dying in nine months. Listen, here's the deal. You gotta come see I me. I got an arena tour. It's the <laughs> last time you'll ever. Oh, <laughs> Burke Kreischer, the last ride or some shit like that. Forget it. He got his liver drained in Belgium, dude. Liver drained? I didn't even know that's a thing. It's not. I was gonna say that sounds He's like something that you can't. Right oh. He's lying. I did not get my liver fucking drained. This is when you have a cunt friend like Tom. <laughs> you get these. My foot got amputated in Belgium. Two toes. Oh, right, right, Two right. Toes. Okay, okay. <laughs> what, how do you want to die? Yeah, you know, I, I've, since I've seen one version of it, I don't know, man. I kind of feel like maybe quick is the best way to go. You don't know? you think you would? I, I would rather get a tough diagnosis. I thought I was going to drown. And then you thought you were going to drown? Yeah, yeah, in the, in the Pacific. Oh, you had a moment, like, yeah, like yeah, in the water, like, like, I'm going to drown. Really? Yeah, like, I'm the gonna current was taking right. you, or like, fuck? Yeah, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to make it right now. Were you and, alone? Uh, huh? Alone? Alone, yeah. Well, how long was, like, was this? A year ago. And I was Did just like... Did you go pretty far out? And he, he got into couldn't... open water swimming. Yeah, oh. and I was just like... What are you doing? Uh, he's what are you changed. doing? Oh, let, let the comments tell you. Tom's changed. He's fucking <laughs> open water swimming. Who the fuck does that? You can't be doing that, that shit. Was, that was... Yeah, and I and I would go back the next day. I'm, like, I'm gonna do it again. You're crazy, and, man. And that that was crazy. But I I kind of and that would have sucked because the panic starts to set in right as you're drowning like, sucks. That first feeling sucks. when you when you breathe in but water also suck. It kind of makes you think that like you know, hit by a fucking car just or blink, just you're just gone. Shot, you're just gone. Yeah, you just you're there one the minute, you're gone the next. So I, I'm out on the suffering. I want a bad diagnosis, and then heroin. Uh, Heroin. Like, bring my family around, do hospice, a little farewell hospice. thing, and then load me up with a, a dose well, that that's kills me. Nice, is that or like, do it for like, maybe I'll do it for a week and then I die. You if know? you're diagnosed and you really are suffering, they do, they do, they start do that. Yeah, just like bit. comfort, you know, whatever. And yeah. uh, I don't want to fight it, you know? know, chemo and all that shit. No thanks. Oh, I've, It'll I've, be cancer. I mean, everyone in my family has died of cancer, so right? it'll, it'll just be that. I, it, that's just like, to me, that's just the way you die. Because, like, my yeah, my I don't know. I have a lot of bad markers. I think like my dad died. That was like Agent Orange. Yeah, but then his brother, di one of his brothers, died younger, cancer. Yeah. Sister died cancer. One brother's still kicking though, and he's eighty one. There you go. I know. And then my mom's side, her dad, her dad died when she was thirteen. Can't kiss the horse. Yeah, he had he had a stroke. Died at thirteen. She was thirteen. Oh, she <laughs> stroke at thirteen. Like, wow. Talk about tragedy. They were no. put them in the mines we, we, early. We had. But I had two instances. Three of her brother. Her in, in my dad. family, where both my mom and my dad thought they were getting like the you call? have stage four cancer. Yeah. Like my mom, it was like a like a smudge on the fucking X ray sort of thing. Like they were like this this like thing this you see good. here is a tumor. And it's big, and and they were acting funny in front of us, and I and I like they came home, and I was like I knew, I was young enough that I didn't know what was going on, and I knew something was up, and it turned out like the there was a shadow on the you know what I mean something dumb on the fucking yeah. film, yeah. and then my dad uh, last year uh, got like some you know bad news, the like the, the the numbers were like you're dead, and he was like I'm totally fucking fine, I walk. Like miles a day, yeah, yeah. Thing. yeah, and they were like, "You're, you know, about to die." I don't know. I and, then, and then the numbers, you know, the next day, like the tests just came out differently, and he was and fine. Like, I was oh. like, "What the fuck is going on?" Our bad. You're yeah, yeah. Die. One of those things. Yeah. Just like, I do want to be Christina, though. You know, like because yeah. her her dad <laughs> is alive, yeah. kick it. But her mom died when she was sixty eight, sixty nine, something like that. And so you, you start to think. You start to go like like about second wives. 
Because that's where I'm going. Because I go, I, I'm, I'm not saying. You're I crazy want. for going again. I would love. Yeah, I've heard you say this before. wife. Oh. How old? 32. That's very specific. 32 would be cool. And like, Another and like, kid? I, oh, a gaggle of them. Yeah, you'd oh, have really? a whole other family. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have six. Six? Yeah. Six more. With the second wife? Six, yeah, I'm going to load it up. And then uh, I think about that sometimes. How about like De Niro? 89 having a kid. That's fucking insane. He's 89? Yeah. He's not 89. Yeah. yeah he is. De Niro's 89. not 89. I think he really is. Or yeah. he's, no. he's definitely like high 80s. And because he just had a kid, really, he just had a kid, and and people were like, "This is kind of fucked up." Because like, kinda, your kid's not going to see you past, you know, like second grade. What's crazy being a broke, a broke poor dad? Like, Tommy knew me when I had my girls. We were both very broke. They just come over for dinner, and my girls would be naked. We we did naked time around the house. Yeah, the girls were running around naked, and it was like two little babies. We were broke. We had no money, (laughs) and it's interesting now seeing Tommy with his boys. Like when I go to his house. And we have naked time too. And they mm-hmm. have boys, but they're they have not. I'm a, they have money, obviously, but it's a it's it's interesting to see the two juxtapositions of like the way that he experienced me with my girls broke as fuck. Like really, I remember right. we, I remember making getting bonuses and getting in cash, and I'd throw it on my kids like whores, and <laughs> and 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 now, but you see Tom with his kids, but it's 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 it looks more fun no, he, like, he was also very astute to the business in a side yeah. that not of all of us were right like he was very quick to like yo podcast work yeah let's do it um i remember my my very first, first podcast it just very clean tom walked in he told me that day I think it was easter sunday joey diaz was coming over my dad was going to be there and tom said make sure we have all the equipment uh because we're gonna do a podcast your first podcast and I was like, cool. And he just went back to my desk and he hit record and he goes, don't touch it. Let's just do it mm-hmm. and post it. And we did it. And I Joey it. said, wild <laughs> shit. Joey's one of the, I, I mean, mean, wild yeah, shit. He's to the point where the my best. dad was like, you got to take that out. I'm a lawyer. I can't hear that. <laughs> like, I am culpable by hearing this information. <laughs> right, right. And so, and, but, but Tom, your mom's house has been around. One of the longer podcasts around, like 14 15, years. 14 years. Yeah. That's and, OG and, shit. And, man. And, but Tom's I don't think also, I realized your mom's house is that old. Yeah. When we started we're, we're two bears. Thir- 13 this year. We started two bears. Tom, real quick, was like, uh, hey, this is good. Let's do more of these. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's do one, one a week. Like, mm-hmm. he just is a. Uh, you see it coming. Because kind of I, I remember giving his wife bad advice and being like, trust me, the clubs will take care of us. <laughs> Tom's like, no, they don't. They don't give a fuck about us. They're all going to be fired one day. They're all idiots. Right. And he was like, get into theaters, get into rock venues. And, and I was like, Tommy, you don't want to fuck these club guys over. We need them. And he was like, they're nobody. <laughs> He's, uh, yeah, they don't give a fuck about you. And and, 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 and I'll tell you, and I say this. is yeah. uh, we're, we're getting close, right? Um, I remember saying like, at a time, I was like, is it six? I thought, all right, we're good. Uh, and so, but I remember, I remember, uh, I, I mean, look, this is a pivotal thing I've talked about a million times. If you don't have a friend doing things better than you, you're not living your life right. Sure. And then the best thing I ever had in my life was having love for a person that was better than me. And just, and just going like, how's he doing it? How can I do it better? He, and, 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 and all the decisions I've made, I've always bounced off Tommy. Everything. And it's the coolest thing you could ever have in life is to like have hang out with the motherfuckers, hang out with the great white sharks. Like, don't mm-hmm. let yourself. If you're listening to this and you're like, "Oh, they're fucking talking about money," don't, no, 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 no. Just surround yourself by people doing it better than you, and then learn from them, and then you'll get better. Mm-hmm. I'm not that talented. I really am not, and I'm not that good of a podcaster. I don't listen. I don't do anything. But I'm tethered to a dude who fucking knows what he's doing, and every now and then can go like. You should do this. Right. Hey, when we're doing the MJM Grand Ar- Garden Arena, you should be in the round. Let's do one show in the round. And and we fought about that because my stupid brain was like, two shows, doesn't matter, bottom bowl, fuck it. <laughs> Look, let's, and, and Tom's like, no, this is and, – and you got to have no ego in it and understand your boys and go like – I get it. I've been very lucky. Rogan, Tommy, uh, Shane Gillis, uh, watching him blow up, it's fun – to hear how his business is working, mm-hmm. just have humility about it, and and uh, that my only advice to anyone listening, because I know that who listens to this podcast, surround yourself by the motherfuckers mm-hmm. and let them help you get a better life. 
Stop hanging out with your white friends. <laughs> Shout out to Joey well, Diaz. I mean, Shout out to Joey Diaz. Like, uh, Poroso comes together, buddy, right? buddy, like, we, we, right. listen. This is this is how uh, friends and brothers should work. We got approach, approached by a bunch of different liquor companies yeah. a number of times. We brought I brought deals to Tommy. The first deal that was brought to me, I remember saying, "This has to go down in your brain if you're a bro." Listen to this. I said, "I would be remiss if someone brought a liquor company to Tom and he didn't bring it to me." Because we're boys. Mm -hmm. We're buddies. We're best friends. I brought the first one to him, and I said, yo, we can get 33% of this company if we join in. And Tom is smarter than me, and he said, we can own 100% of the company if we invest our money. Right. And I was like, I, but that's our money. And he's like, trust me. We went through a ton of distributors, a ton, ton of distillers, and we came up with this. Tom shepherded this entire project. The only thing I gave a fuck about was what, are the, what does the vodka taste like? What does the bottle look like? We, yeah. we worked through the bottle. We have yeah. a honeycomb top. Yeah, all I love it, that. All of it is a partnership. Lower your ego. Find your partner. You got Feidelberg. The boys got... Will and Taylor, mm -hmm. you look at the way things are working in the universe, McCusker and Shane Gillis, yep. be cool with being a partner with someone. Lower your ego and find out how to work together. And I'm telling you right now, today I am drunk as fuck. I'm drinking my vodka I own with my Feels best good, friend. Feels good, right? Yeah, it feels cool. good. And I'm drunk off your own vodka hits a little different. And I'm doing one of my favorite podcasts in the fucking My world. man, I appreciate that, dude. Thank you so much, bro. It was a lot of fun. Love you, bro. Kevin. Thank love you, too, man. bro. you. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. Click that button. Or I'll cut off my finger. <laughs> <laughs>